Hello, here we are at 41 Locust Street. Let's take a look at the neighborhood. This is really in the heart of it all right here. Awesome community, building, thriving. This is gonna be the place to be. Let's take a look at the inside. We walk up painted concrete stairs onto a stoop area that's nice and covered. I love that. People can come in and not be rained on. So this house has some really cool features. One of it is this beautiful front office area. It's got loads of light. The current owner works from home and this is just wonderful space for her. It's actually open into the great room area as well. And we have the foyer. So if we walk in, this is our great room area. We have really tall ceilings in here, which I love, with updated recessed lights. We also have laminate floors that look amazing. So we have our family room area. We walk back to our dining area. There's a cheery yellow color on the walls. Again, really high ceilings and lots of windows. So here we have our dining area into our family room into our area into the entryway and the office right there. This also sweeps into our kitchen. We have 12 by 12 tiles on the floors. These look like a maple cabinet with a Formica countertop. We have a glass top stove here with a double oven. We have the microwave above, a double bowl sink with a dishwasher. Outside looks onto a really nice patio area that we'll visit in just a little bit. This kitchen also has a really, really nice refrigerator. The black stainless steel with water in the door. And currently they also have this area set up as a nice coffee bar to the right. And the dishwasher is also back in that corner right there. Really nice space, nice lighting above, and tile flooring. We'll swoop back into this area. Next, we're gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna stop right here and just kinda look at this cool space that they have because they have the office on the other side. Uh, it's just nice that it's open to the house, but also separated. This area makes a great office, but it could also make a great sitting room, playroom, sunroom. I just, again, love the light. And a nice walkway from the foyer too. So as we go up the gray carpeted stairs, we have newer carpet up to our second floor. Up here we have one full bathroom and three bedrooms. The uh, flooring at the top of the stairs is back to that dark laminate, which looks really nice. So bedroom number one. We have those upgraded floors. We have a ceiling fan, two nice big windows to the rear of the property. I'm gonna look down again. Now this property has air conditioner. This room, they just want it a little bit cooler. But AC is included with this house. We'll take a look at that unit in just a little bit. Really nice size room. And that is at least a full size bed. And we have plenty of room in here. back to our foyer area. 
We've got our full bathroom here. We move from laminate to tile flooring. We have our uh, sink right there with a mirror above, some additional storage above the commode, and a nice big shower. Showers in really nice shape with a vinyl surround. sink. Really tall ceilings up here too, which is nice. I'll stop and say hi. So back to the foyer area, you can see how nice and tall these ceilings are. So downstairs has huge, huge, huge ceilings. Up here also has very, very tall ceilings. So this is bedroom number two. This is the smallest of the three bedrooms. However, there's still plenty of room for a nice big bed and a desk and a dresser has one nice big window to the side of the property, which currently just faces a nice open field. And then this side too, nice big closet there. We're gonna round the corner and go to the owner's bedroom. Again, since this is at the front of the property, it has these nice windows, so really nice light tall ceilings with a ceiling fan, plenty of room for a big bed with dressers on the side and a dresser on that wall too. From this angle, you can see they actually have a lot of furniture in here and it fits everything really nicely. So this is a nice big room, again with those tall ceilings. And I love that we have three big windows to the front. Again, this upgraded flooring throughout too is really nice and easy to clean. And then of course, closet doors behind me. So we're gonna go back down the hallway. We also have a linen closet. So at the top of the stairs, we have Bedroom number one, bathroom with linen closet. Bedroom number two, and the primary bedroom back that way. Let's go see the basement. So we're gonna go back down our carpeted stairs to our great room area. Through our dining area. Now I have both doors open, which kind of look a little weird. So I'm gonna shut those for a second so you can see this is another nice landing area. We're gonna go down our wood stairs. To a really big basement. There's currently some boxes because they're just getting ready to move out this way so we have the poured concrete foundation we have some areas of sump pump we already have a French drain in this house which is really nice so it stays nice and dry back this way we have billfold doors going to the back of the property we'll take a look at those in just a little bit but you'll notice there's also a drain in front of this door so might as well open it you can see up to the billfold doors in the back rain at the bottom. So back this way. Lots of storage down here. Big basement. We also have our furnace right here. And then on the other side, we have our new water heater with the expansion tank. Again, I'll point out the PAX new water lines run. And then this would be the area for washer dryer and a utility sink. I also wanna show you the electrical panel, which has been updated and has plenty of space and is updated and new and labeled. 
also through here, we have a step up. This is where the water enters the house right there. And we have a meter. This room actually gets a lot of nice light because it gets light from the front of the street. It's definitely not a scary basement. Very, very dry down here. I'm trying to find some corners to show you that it's dry. Maybe right behind me. Dry basement. I don't see any puddling. No wet smell. It's very nice and dry down here with plenty of space. So now let's go back upstairs and we're gonna see it. the really cool part of this property is this really awesome backyard that they have. So we go out this door. Oh, we have this really nice tall covered porch area, which is perfect to sit at. So we have room for chairs this way. They've got a nice big grill on this side. Beautiful brick columns. You step down one stair and you have another nice patio area. So we have, back up a little and show you the rear of the house. So this is the back of the house. That's the covered porch area. More space this way. We also have our AC and those billful doors that I told you about. Nice privacy fence. We also have a two car garage here. Currently, this has a lot of boxes in it because of course people have to move. But I'll just show you a little bit. We have electric garage door opener with lights a nice big door and a poured concrete foundation. It's really tall in here and you could put additional storage in the rafters. I also like that it has electrical. Back out to our covered porch area. I'm gonna take you down this little hallway here so I can show you the two car garage this way. And of course, I picked a day to take pictures where the uh, garbage collection is. So today is Wednesday and garbage collection is on Wednesday. We have a uh, brick stone drive at the back. And then here's our two car garage. While I'm out this way, I'm gonna show you the side of the property. So this lot is not included with the house, but the fact that nothing is here does give you some nice privacy. So we'll go back inside and talk about what I really like about this property. So things I really like about this property are that it has windows everywhere, which I'm a big fan of natural light it's hard to make something look bright when it isn't. So I love that they have so many windows in this home. I love this outdoor patio area because I think it's really cute. And I like that you have the two car garage, which is very rare once you get into the city to have that. I like that it has a dry, large basement. And I really like the loft feel of this house. You have so much space and I love the high ceilings. Also the office I think is a really good use of that space in the front of the home. And I think it really just gives it an overall amazing feel. So please come and tour this wonderful property today and see if it's the right fit for you. Have a nice day.